Hello, uh, my name is Zalman Berkowitz, uh, as you may have guessed from uh, me saying that just now. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> Um, I thought I would uh, tell you a little bit more about this piece, um, which I call Window. Um, I tend to build um, heady philosophical um, subjects into my material, as, as you may know at this point. So um, it starts out, actually, uh, this is me basically learning to color mix. And um, what can we tell you about it? It's about 200 separate um, color mixes here. Um, I had just discovered for myself that um, to make colors more intense, um, it has a lot to do with the relationship of the other colors that they're with. So it's sort of an exercise in neutrals for me. Um, so that's what I'm exploring. I'm exploring, it, at this time at least, um, how neutrals can support and become kind of more intense. So the intensity of neutrality, if that makes sense. Um, you know, bear with me. Um, so the whole thing's built on vibration, and I'm playing with this dither, this, um, this interaction that happens between complementary opposites, say red and green, in that our receptors have to switch back and forth very fast, and so we have this sort of after image, or this, this fuzzy quality in between um, those boundaries. So that's what I'm interested in. Uh, in this case, it's, uh, it's another one of those hyper-solid shapes, so things that uh, seem to occupy multiple dimensions at the same time. Um, an example would be um, perhaps the boxes right here, um, going that way, and you have one, two, three faces, or maybe it's this way, and you have one, two, three faces. Um, so let's play with that. That's uh, the same idea. It's kind of repeated in the central one, um, etc. Um, and if you look at, uh, say, this, and I'll, I'll put a detail along with the image, but... Um, I like those shapes that are maybe ambiguous or left open to interpretation. Um, so in this case, uh, very simplistically, it's a, it's a cube. Um, but is the box with one, two, three faces here? Or is it one, two, three faces here? And the answer is yes, you know, it's both. So depending on where you look, hopefully it's moving through space a bit and adapting as we adapt to it. Um, you'll notice the same thing kind of repeated here. Um, and then it's built vibrationally, so I'm using a direct complementary opposite right in the center, so red, orange, blue, green, um, and then it gets a bit less as we go out. Um, my thought was to build something based on vibration. Um, and then on the, on the outer end, I'm just a uh, you know, palette knife, uh, just real sparse, um, you know, the lines are, are kind of rough around the edges, um, that type of deal. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward on that one. Uh, so I call it window, and um, for me it's about, uh, it's about determination and focus. So thanks for listening.